Good evening and welcome to my home here in Bangor for this evening's service of Compline. I must say it's wonderful to be back in the church worshipping, but I have grown quite fond of these Wednesday evenings with you. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. This, eves this evening's psalm is Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up from the depths and have not suffered my foes to triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you, and you have made me whole. You brought me back, O Lord, from the land of silence. You saved my life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, all you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For if in his anger is havoc, in his good favour is life. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Your goodness, O Lord, has set me so firm on a hill. Then you hid your face from me, and I was greatly dismayed. I cried to you, O God, and made my petition humbly to my Lord. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Can the dust give you thanks or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my lamentation into dancing and have put off my sackcloth and girded me with joy, that my heart may sing your praise and never be silent. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. This evening's reading is taken from the Gospel according to John, chapter 14, starting at the 18th verse. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them, is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, replied Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I am going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not say much more to you. For the prince of this world is coming. He has no hold over me, but he comes so that the world may learn that I love the Father and do exactly what my Father has commanded me. Come now, let us leave. I'm just going to read a very short commentary 
by Joyce Meyer, one of my, my favorites. Uh, she comments on this particular verse. She says, we see plainly from John that Jesus has provided us peace, but we must appropriate it and not allow our hearts to be troubled or afraid. We cannot just passively wait to feel peaceful. We are to pursue God's peace and refuse to live without it. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that thou with wanted love wouldst keep thy watch around us while we sleep. O let no evil dreams be near, or phantoms of the night appear, our ghostly enemy restrain, lest aught of sins our body stain. Almighty Father, hear our cry through Jesus Christ, our Lord Most High, who with the Holy Ghost and Thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep me as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of Thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. The Canticle, Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And now we will affirm our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence from thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Together, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. We confess. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore, we pray God to have mercy upon us. Mighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins. Deliver us from evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, that thy people will rejoice in thee? O Lord, shew thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. Light in our darkness we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we, who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world, may repose upon thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, our homes, and drive away all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein, to preserve us in peace, and may thy blessing be upon us evermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us this night and forevermore. Amen. Thank you and good night.